as you might tell, this is not a normal Land Rover. <laughs> Okay guys, so today we have Sam Joy's TD5. Uh, it's a 90 white pickup. Uh, it's from the year 2000. We're gonna see what we can do with it and put it through its paces today. So let's meet the man behind the machine. This is Sam Joy, the nutcase, and the reason Hello. why his car is now called Rolo, we'll explain later. Should we walk around the car, Absolutely. have a chat about it? So tell me about the axles on this. So front and rear, we've got Ashcroft axles, internals, so they're all heavy duty, pretty strong. They can take pretty much whatever the TD5 can throw at them. Haven't had any issues since, since fitting them. It's been, been great. Nice. Well, uh, you've thrown it through quite a lot today and I'm impressed with what it's handled. It's so <laughs> it's, it's obviously yeah. quite bulletproof and it's quite strong. We've obviously got the upgraded uh, yeah. dry flanges here, yeah. which I'm guessing you're quite grateful for the rats that you have put in uh, this build now. Oh, absolutely, mate. No doubt it would have broken the very standard. Yeah, I'd imagine yeah. you're right. I'd imagine we would have killed the bearings as well. Yep. So I'm impressed that's all held up. <laughs> Tell me about these tyres. They're quite chunky. They've yep. uh, it's helped and stood around quite well today. Yeah, they're well, they're Toyo Open Country mud trains. Measure out 33 inches tall. They're perfect for me. All round daily driver, ploughing the field, green laning. Nice, yeah, nice. Great. Really happy with them. And this doesn't look stock to me. What nope. have you done here? So we've got one inch lift on the front, mainly just to level it out compensate for the winch. As opposed to like the rake yeah, stance exactly. like on my one for example. Um, but one unique thing, I've got plus five shocks front and rear which is quite unique for a standard high truck. So no, when okay. I'm off-road get all the flex and it's great, great for fast, fast pace Impressive. as well. And are they, uh, are they outboard shocks aren't they? Yeah, yeah, so it's got a remote reservoir. Cool. And adjustable or? Yeah, eight stage adjustable. Well, I mean, that, that's pretty bloody cool if you ask me. I mean that's pretty impressive. So inside the car, we've actually got quite a lot going on here. We've got a Momo suede, uh, well, racing steering wheel uh, with the optimal boss to make it fit and he's tried keeping the steering wheel closer to the dashboard so it's not too much in your chest. We've had a couple uh, uh, interior modifications to make things a little bit more daily and usable like the cubby box. We've also got the Exmoor trim XS seats in here so it's nice and luxurious. Um, the best thing about this car in my opinion, I'm desperate to do it to mine, it's quite simply we've got what's called a slick shift so that's going to make it a lot tighter and there's no slack and play in the gearbox when you're you're throwing it through the gears so it's a much more race car feel which in a Land Rover is absolutely astonishing I mean this TD5 is not normal by any means but that for me makes it because it just fits everything perfectly so I'll tell you what Sam, this is a bit of a weapon, I'm impressed, I'm loving the interior of it. I'm glad you like it mate, yeah I've tried to keep it sort of OEM plus. Yeah, OEM kind of plus. Like. I like the Land Rovers, this doesn't seem stock to me, I must admit. It seems like it's got quite a bit of power. It does surprise a few people on the traffic lights, I'll tell you that. I mean this is really a perfect farm vehicle, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, Klaus Field. What do you yeah. mean? I mean like this. Bloody hell! <laughs> 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 Jesus! Oh, Cyclones in a Defender on a grass field in second gear. Oh my god! <laughs> How mad is that? Fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> So how long have you had this film? I've had it six years. Six years? You've spent quite a lot of time and money in it, I like, sure into this. That whole six years, yeah, I've been pretty much building this truck. What have you actually done to the engine in it? Well, it's got, what gives it all the power is the TD5 inside remap. Yeah. So that just completely transforms it. But then, of course, you've got to build the rest of the Land Rover. Yeah, you've got to make it, to be able to take it. it. So, yeah, so it's got a new cylinder head, upgraded turbo, bigger intercooler. Nice, Exhaust nice. manifold, Mali Sport. Well, yeah, it sounds like a bit of a weapon. All the axles have been heavy duty, so 
Oh, okay. If you can like, take the power. Oh, it sounds it. In terms of uh, how much power are we talking? Uh, well, this mapping, it should give it somewhere around 190 brake. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. You have literally built yourself a bit of a, um, well, a drift weapon. I mean, you get your supers. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is an absolute weapon. This is ridiculous. You're right, mate. You're a little bit wrong. He's not feeling too good, boys. Now guys, this is where it gets a little bit more serious. The reason why we named the car Rolo, James is now going to tell you. So I jumped in the passenger seat with Sam to film some interior footage and if any of you know, the tipping point on the Defender is about 45 degrees and that is definitely what we reached. And if he didn't correct it and steer the other way, we would have definitely ended up on the side. So that was a pretty severe potential incident, but pretty well averted by Sam. That's a bit of a dance moment. 